distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Sawu Bona, good evening. It is my distinct honor to present on behalf of a board of directors of the World Affairs Council, the Distinguished Diplomatic Service Award to the Republic of South Africa, represented by His Excellency Ambassador Malangu, the country's ambassador to the United States. As an African myself, I must say that this distinction also goes to the entire continent of Africa. South Africa, as a well-functioning democracy, a vibrant society where communities coexist peacefully despite a violent past, South Africa, as the most advanced African economy, a member of the BRICS nations, a member of the G20 group, South Africa has been ably representing Africa on the world stage. Tonight, we could not find a better suited person to receive this award in the name of the Republic of South Africa. Indeed, Ambassador Malangu was involved in the early 1990s in the negotiations that would lead to the end of apartheid, and he became a member of South Africa's Transitional Executive Council in 1994. He later became an eminent member of South African Parliament and contributed to the drafting of the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa, one of the most liberal in the world. Ambassador Malangu also represented his country in many high-profile international fora, including UN, G20, and Commonwealth conferences. Furthermore, I know from my discussions with him that Ambassador Malangu is tirelessly working to strengthen the relationship between South Africa and the United States, as evidenced by a recent exchange of teachers and students between the two countries jointly organized by his embassy and the World Affairs Council. Mr. Tony Kali Foster, Madam Chairperson, let me please allow me, dear World Affairs Council board colleagues, allow me to breach the protocol. What I mean is, instead of one award, South Africa is going to get two tonight. This is a total surprise. <laughs> Indeed, I will respectfully ask Honorable Joe Duffy, an eminent member of our board, to stand up and you will hear the rest of my story. Here, Joe Duffy, a round of applause, please. <laughs> Joe kindly gave me, and this is the story, Joe kindly gave me a copy of a handwriting, handwritten letter Nelson Mandela sent him to prison decades ago when Joe was president of an American university. As the World Affairs Council is the place where learning happens, I thought it would be appropriate to share that letter in which Mandela is recognizing the value of education. Here is the letter, handwritten letter by Mr. Nelson Mandela himself sent to Joe Duffy. Again, a round of applause. <laughs> so, Mr. Ambassador, in addition to the Distinguished Diplomatic Service Award, I will respectfully ask you to give the copy of this letter to His Excellency President Zuma on behalf of Joe Duffy and my humble self. <laughs> Tony Califosse is asking me to read the letter. 
I understand that my allocated time is two minutes, and I largely went over it, so I'm not going to read, but trust me, it is real. And uh, Joe Duffy has the original. Thank you. The chairperson of the World Affairs Council, DC, Ms. Eddie Fraser, and esteemed board of directors, <clears throat> Secretary of Defense, and all honorees, excellencies and members of the diplomatic corps, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, all protocol observed. <laughs> San Bonani. <laughs> President Zuma is greeting you all tonight. He says, greeting and good evening, all of you. It is a high privilege and honor to receive this prestigious Distinguished Diplomatic Service Award on behalf of my country and wish to inform the World Affairs Council, DC, that the South African government is humbled by this gesture. Our appreciation goes to the chair of the World Affairs Council, DC, and the entire Executive Council. I also thank the members of the World Affairs Council DC team for the dedication and passion in doing their work. Dr. Yaya, Mr. Musa, Mr. Tony Kelly Foster, and your team, it's always a pleasure working with you. Thank you, thank you so much. <clears throat> This award is a testament to the commitment and efforts of South Africa to be a good global citizen. South Africa's engagement in the world is driven by a foreign policy vision of a united African continent that is peaceful, democratic, non-racial, non-sexist, and prosperous, and which to contribute to a world that is just and equitable. In, in, in pursuit of this vision, South Africa is guided by the principle of Ubuntu. Ubuntu means I am because you are. It speaks to the issues of our core humanity, interdependence, and coexistence. This award comes at a time when the embassy's focus is in the promotion of education and skills development of all South African learners, especially in the areas of engineering, science and technology, and this is one of the country's priorities. The World Affairs Council Washington DC has thus led the charge at creating global understanding through education and our hope lies in programs such as the Global Teacher Education Exchange between Gauteng and Washington, D.C. This is a platform teachers and students of both countries to have a shared learning experience. Our gratitude also goes to MasterCard Foundation for the support given to the World Affairs Council, D.C., in order for this program to succeed. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no longer a need to debate the fact that our education system has to produce students who are globally well informed. Core existence and interdependence has deepened today more than ever. The global environment is characterized by shifts in political, economic, and cultural dynamics. With this in mind, the role of new media, social networks, innovation, climate change, heightened the demand for resources, and the changing nature of conflicts have had a profound impact on the art of diplomacy. The change in the art, in my view, calls for a much broader interaction among the various players in the global landscape, which include governments, business, NGOs, academia, and society at large. 
in the true spirit of the principle of Ubuntu, we are all interdependent. Therefore, we need to work together in the years coming to make the world a better place to live in. In this regard, I know no other better way than accelerating global education and cooperation. The letter given to Joe will definitely hand it, uh, to be handed to the president, Mr. Yaya. I will do that as requested to do. I thank you for the honor. Thank you very much tonight. <laughs>